Microphone check. One, two. Hi, my name is Arius, and today I have an update from the Elder Scrolls Blades Council. That's right, my friends. We've been working on ideas on how we could communicate better with Bethesda to see about making in-game improvements. So after much discussion, we decided to go ahead and send this letter to our only contact, Terry. And if you haven't been following the channel, Terry was instrumental in helping us establish in-game gifting, which hopefully all of us have been using since it's available now. So what did we send over to Terry? Well, first we asked him to do more marketing, like we indicated over here. Hey, how about some more marketing? What else? An option to purchase additional loadouts with gems. Or hey, why don't you just give us some more loadouts because five isn't enough, right? I think we can all agree. What was our third one? Custom unranked arena dueling. What does that mean? A way for us to just challenge each other right off the bat. Some kind of a function that would allow us to duel our friends or anybody who we want to duel with and not affect arena ranking. That would be cool. So we asked for it. And of course we asked for the frost bug fix because well, something we asked for in the past and you just wanted to see if they were doing anything about it. So where are we at? Well, I sent this uh, to Terry on Valentine's Day this year and we have not heard back. So are we giving up? Heck no. We're gonna keep on trying. And how do we do that, friends? Well, the only way we can really ask for things in this game is through the ticketing system. Why? Well, we've tried bothering the developers. We've tried reaching out to them. And even CVH, who used to be very active on the Reddit forums, has not been responding as much as he used to, which is fair. And, you know, we can't expect them to always have resources dedicated to this game, which is why, friends, it's up to us to make sure they know what we actually really need to get changed so that this game will be better for not just older players, but even the new ones coming in. Because I guarantee you, there are quite a few new players still making their way and discovering Elder Scrolls Blades. So let's do what we can to improve the game so that when we have new players, the game is already at its best. Yeah? How do we do that? Well. The only way we can do it is through the ticketing system, like I said. And here's what I started with. So after not hearing back from Terry, I decided let's try asking for something with the ticketing system. And you know what? Long time ago when I was leveling up Arius, I missed out on the slow clap emote. And y'all know how I feel about our emotes in this game. They're very precious to us. In fact, the guffaw emote was one of the most beautiful emotes I ever created. In fact, I've made plenty of songs and videos about it, so make sure to check it out. But what about the slow clap emote? The most underrated and unused emote. Why? Because a lot of us missed it. A lot of us didn't get to pick it up that first round, that first time we were leveling up. I have good news, friends. That is what I asked for, and here's what happened. As you can see, I reached out to our friend Mikhail. Well, if you don't know Mikhail, Mikhail was very instrumental in ensuring the implementation of in-game gifting. So Terry White helped us get it going and Mikhail helped us execute. And even until this day, Mikhail is one of the few agents that still do the in-game gifting tickets. So if you see Mikhail servicing your gifting ticket, make sure to say shout out and thank you for all of their help. So in this case, I asked Mikhail in my own unique way if we could have the slow clap emote. And well, it didn't happen right away. As you can see, I created this ticket on the 19th. And actually, Mikhail responded quite quickly on the same day that they're going to go ahead and do some research. Well, what happened next? On the 22nd, I responded back because, well, there's a thing where the tickets have an auto timer. So that's kind of the thing when you're submitting tickets, you got to be sure to follow up on them because if they sit there for too long, the ticket will automatically close because they'll think you're no longer interested. So if you're submitting a ticket, be sure to go back to that homepage and make sure that they're not waiting on you for a response. 
So we still had a little back and forth because my kale was still waiting for an answer from their senior leadership on whether they can do this or not. So we did go back and forth quite a long ways. Followed up on the 23rd and again on the 28th saying that they were making sure the thread didn't die. So man, that is some great customer service right there. Thanks again, Mike Kale. So at that point, we had to keep going with the thread just to make sure that it didn't die while we were waiting for an answer. So March 1st rolled around, March 3rd. As you can see on March 3rd, I did ask a little bit about development or who to reach out to. And Mike Kale came back with some very honest feedback. It was a small team that made Elder Scrolls Blades and even smaller team to maintain it. And even according to my kale, the feedback forums and Reddit are the best ways to get attention around our ideas. But we know we've done that already, okay? So that's why if you really want to make some changes in this game, you have to push it through the ticketing system. Because of this collaboration with my kale, as of today, March 18th, I went back and read a message that I received on the 10th saying, good news, 400 gems and you've got Nemo. That means if we have 400 gems, we can gift the slow clap emo to our alt or our friend and then have somebody, one of our alts or one of our friends, gift it back to us. So if you missed out on the slow clap emo, here's how to get it back. Get it through the gifting system. 400 gems and a ticket and a few days and a little bit of follow up work. You've got yourself a slow clap gonna be epic friends make sure to grab your slow clap from an alt or from your friend so there you have it folks the ticketing system does work and that was just from one person me now imagine if all of you made tickets and asked for loadouts hey can we get more loadouts hey here's a great idea can we have loadouts they won't give it much consideration if it comes from one person but if it comes from all of you, all of you, all of you, imagine the attention it could get. So it's up to you, friends. I'm only one person. But with all of you putting tickets in to help us get more loadouts, let's start there. Then if we can all get loadouts, maybe we could ask for custom dueling for a chance to duel our friends without having to time it. You know what I mean? These are things we can do if we just put in enough tickets. I believe it. And I proved it right here, asking for the slow clap emo, something that we didn't think could come back, but it did because we asked nicely. So here we go, friends, let's give it a try. Everyone put in tickets to ask for more loadouts. So let's just keep asking until we get it. Hopefully you are motivated to do your part for the community, to make a change in this game and put in that ticket to ask for more loadouts. My name is Arius. I play games and then slow clap.